The Uganda Cricket Cranes have enjoyed great success in the past, the recent being champions of the inaugural Africa T20 tournament in September 2022, one of the biggest success stories in Ugandan cricket. Two players who are very pivotal in bringing this trophy home, debutant Alpesh Ramjani and Riyazat Alisha, are of Pakistan descent. Is there one hitting, winning? And they pull off the win! A magnificent win! A come from behind! And Riyadh Shah has played an innings of his lifetime. And he's played one that will live long in the memories. An absolutely brilliant performance. And no doubt, good reason for the Ugandans to celebrate. And that man on your screen, Riyazat has produced the innings of his life. The two have represented Uganda at the highest levels of international cricket. They are just a handful of the many players of Asian descent who have donned the cricket crane's jersey. Administrators and stakeholders. For example, Shiva Koti, the former cricket cranes player, now owns the biggest franchise of cricket clubs in the country, which boasts of two women's teams. When you look at Aziz Zamani, it's the biggest, it's, it's one of the richest clubs, we can call it the richest club in, in, in Uganda currently, cricket-wise. It, it's owned by, 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 by uh, uh, Aziz Zamani, Zamani Development. Aziz Zamani is a senior team, and then he has Aziz Zamani Development, and then Aziz Zamani, the ladies team. So he owns all those teams. So you, you can just look at the influence. And we also have them in our, the, the select, the select, the sele, as, as our selectors, you know, you know, in the, and the, they've pumped money into the national team. They've pumped money into, into the, you know, the various clubs we have in Uganda. And they, there's really, really that connection. You could take the actually Ugandan. <laughs> so there's that much love. And uh, I think cricket in Uganda wouldn't really have survived without really their help. Dennis Musali, an ex-Cricket Cranes player and head of communications, Uganda Cricket Association, hails the community's contribution towards the game in Uganda. I was excited to be so competitive when uh, Asian teams like KICC and Premier started being part of the league. Uh, what they would do is they would go to India and bring a couple of good players who are playing in, Indi in the Indian circuit to come and play in our local league. And uh, that challenge, that battle between, you know, the Asians and us came very good in terms of uh, making sure that uh, you improve your skill. I think the definition was made simpler by the ICC a couple of years ago, uh, where uh, the player has to play in your local league for three years in a row uh, without them coming here. And then they go back, come and go back. But if they stay here for an extended time of three years uninterrupted, they qualify, they qualify to play for your country. They may, no, they may not even take up your citizenship but they qualify to play for your country. So it's a qualification to play for us. You can only qualify to play for Uganda if uh, you've been here for that, lo that, for that uh, amount of time. Uh, in a year alone, I think the Asian community will spend close to a billion shillings in just lo cricket, uh, yeah, Ugandan cricket. So that's not a little money. That is too much money put into circulation, and especially in the cr cricket fraternity. When uh, Meta Group was uh, the sponsor of the national team, we had a bit of relationship with the Calcutta Knight Riders who play in the Indian Premier League, and they were extending a lot of support to our national team. So we, we've been uh, uh, very, very gifted and blessed uh, to have uh, the Asian community, community here with us because they've added a lot of value to our game. Head coach of the national team, Lawrence Mahalani, commends the skill set of Asian players and the good relationship they hold with the rest of the team. One of the biggest factors that uh, the players bring is, is basically a bit of experience. And what I mean by that is uh, their upbringing and uh, the quality of cricket that they played within their regions um, really tested them from an early age. Uh, you spoke about Riazad. I think we've seen so many times how he's really stood up. And it's just from experience of playing three-day cricket as a youngster back in, in Pakistan. Uh, a guy like Dinesh Nakrani, who's uh, also played a bit of first-class cricket. So it's, it's good that we have that kind of experience coming in to help some of our naturally talented players to go into the next level. You know, we've tried to create a professional environment and uh, they've really fitted in. Um, I think Riazat has lived here now for over seven years and uh, really enjoying his time. He arrived as a youngster. He's now nearly 26. So uh, you just have to be around the team to understand that we are one team. And uh, the knowledge that they're sharing for me has been very crucial in uh, some of their experiences. And uh, they've got you know, it's uh, their best friends with some of everybody's good friends out there. Riazat, representing Uganda at the international stage, means a lot to him. If I say, like, if you are representing a country, 
that's just a totally different feeling. Uh, 44 million people are watching you, they are supporting you, it's totally amazing feeling and when you go in ev everyone like everyone wish you to do well for the country and when you do well like everyone like everyone happy for you it's like feel amazing when you make your people happy and win, win games for your country yeah. cricket is one of the fastest growing games in uganda and has gained a number of local fans especially because of its recent success so we've got a new crowd of people who like the national team and comes from the, our association uh, embracing Asian players to be part of the team. I think you, you just need to have watched the CLB final game we played here against Kenya. Uh, just the crowd that was in here, uh, the passion that they showed. For me, it was unbelievable. It was, it was one of the most amazing days of, of my life personally, just seeing the support, the passion behind uh, the team. And uh, I think people are starting to believe, are starting to believe in, in us. Uh, you just had to listen to them screaming, chair, wood, chair, as he was running in. Or when Simon hit the winning runs, it, it was just something very special. And it's something that we're looking to build on and looking to keep growing. Make sure that it's not only happening in Kampala or in Soroti or in Yakasura, but let's get it to Gulu, let's get it to Mbale, let's get it to Kabale. Um, let's make sure that every part of the country is as passionate and we can find new exciting talent in different parts of the country. However, there is still a lot to be done for the game to get closer to the people in Uganda. The community, the local community is still very small. So that's why I say the challenge is on us. We have to do the hard work uh, to make sure that we take the gospel to every, the cricket gospel to every part of the country and get as many new fans as possible. The team now looks set for more glory, including a place at the biggest stage, the World Cup. As a team now, we want to play World Cup. Uh, it's 2024 World Cup. It's, it's in the West Indies and USA. But our goal is to play that World Cup. We are playing our qualifiers in uh, next uh, like in next year, uh, March next year in, uh, in Namibia. Our goal is to go and perform well and qualify for the World Cup. With players like Dinesh Nakrani, Ronak Patel, Shiva Koti, and Bilal Hassoun, who have all played for the cricket cranes, it is almost impossible to talk about the history of cricket in Uganda without the involvement of the Asian community. Martin Mogambi, MCI.